Morning, everyone. My name is Igor Borovic. I'm a director of product management in NEO. And thank you, quite a few people here. Um, in the next 15 minutes, I want to talk to you about Neo4j in the cloud everywhere. So basically, I just want to walk you through a couple of options that we have today to use packaging managers or other um, platform as a service options that you have at your disposal to use Neo uh, in public or private clouds. All right? So I have a couple of slides, but it's actually going to try to do a live demo. So you know, hopefully demo gods will be with me. I, will, I was warned not to do that. I literally was told, do not do that. So, and I'm not an engineer, so um, we'll see how it works. I used to be an engineer. So I want to walk you through a couple of obvious suspects. So obviously, you support Debian packaging. Right? So if you provision yourself an instance in a Google Compute, if you provision yourself an instance on, on AWS, on EC2, uh, even if you provision yourself an instance in your own you know, um, cloud infrastructure, like OpenShift, whatever you're using, you can use Debian to install latest package to upgrade from the previous version of, of Neo. And, and you know, it's quite known, you know, apt-get install neo for j Enterprise. We have a page dedicated to Debian, it's near debian.neo4j.org. Um, you can see more, more details there. Um, just want to put it out there. Um, it's, of course, one of the 80% of our customers in, in what I've seen are, 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 using, are using Debian. It's kind of a quite well-known package. Right? Um, we have a <laughs> stable yum repo. So, same as Debian, sudo yum install Neo4j. Um, obviously, um, you would need to, you know, download from from, from there. But um, um, it works as any other package. Quite quite happy about that. About two years ago, we started one one and a half to two years ago. We started to uh, supporting. Um, Docker and publishing Docker images for every single Neo Neo um, edition, and since we are publishing every two weeks uh, milestone releases, what we call alpha for every new uh, product lifecycle, we have every two weeks we have an alpha release. Um, we have them available as as Docker images, so you don't have to worry about any kind of uh, Java dependency or, and so forth. You literally just kick off your Docker. Um, and then you use Docker run Neo4j Enterprise and you play with the, with the latest version. Um, of course, as you Docker, you can do a colon and then specific version you want to you wanna provision yourself. Um, we are continuously adding support for Docker. Um, we are, of course, supporting the, 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 the local volumes, but if you read on our Docker repo page, you'll see more and more support for environment variables, for injecting configuration, for um, command line logging output. So a lot of things that are best practices in Docker, we are, we, are, we are getting there and we are continuously on top of that. A lot of our customers and prospects and POCs use Docker and are quite happy with the image. We just recently revamped the image to be based on a um, more um, smaller surface, so it's going to be based on Alpine kind of um, uh, core of, 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 of you know, Linux or Debian, so it's also much more secure, uh, as, and we do penetration testing and, and things like that against Docker image. Neo4j is available as a new universal package. Actually, Johannes is going to have a talk just after I'm done at 11.30 at um, ground floor. Um, and he's going to talk to you about um, Neo4j being, uh, you know, available with causal cluster um, configuration on, on Apache Mesos and DCOS. So if you see a screenshot of universal package, if you search for it, you can see here uh, 3.1 version um, with causal clustering. Pretty excited about that. Uh, DCOS is, is really, really becoming very popular. It's a very stable platform. 
Uh, I've been playing with it. Uh, I'm, I'm quite impressed. We've been killing, you know, kill minus nine. We've been killing some of the instances, and then DCOS just figures it out, brings up the image, um, connects to the cluster, and you you move on. It's it's quite it's quite impressive platform. I urge you to, to try it out if you haven't yet. But that still means that you have to all of this so far. You have to manage yourself. You also have a partner graph story where you can go to them and say, you know what, I'd like to give you money and you manage Neo for me. So they offer managed hosting services. Um, quite a good response in the market so far. Um, good partner running the latest versions of Neo, very knowledgeable about Neo, um, safe, secure, highly available. So again, something for, for, for um, to try out out, the, out there in the cloud. They support AWS, Google Cloud, and DigitalOcean at the moment. Okay, so how am I doing on the time? Okay, so now what I really wanted to talk to you about is this latest announcement. As of last week, we are available in Azure platform. We're super happy about that. To working jointly with Microsoft to figure out there's a quite a huge overlap between our customer base and they being having their infrastructure on, on Microsoft and also Microsoft customer base and they've been looking for a graph solution. So there's a very good commercial um, overlap there and we worked directly with their um, Azure technical engineers and, and, and support to have the template <coughs> available on Azure. So this is something I want to show you live. But I'm just going to show you screenshots before, just in case the live doesn't work. I'm, I'm not worried at all. It's going to work brilliantly. Um, you go on the marketplace. Um, you search for Neo4j. You will see our template. Um, we are offering, um, at the moment, AJ, high availability cluster. Um, our next version will involve uh, include the causal cluster uh, that, is, that is available as well. So it's a bring your own license model. So you go there, you, you either get a evaluation for 30 days or you agree that you have a license with us. So you would be able, to, you need to contact our sales, you know, you have to buy a subscription for, for Neo4j, but then you can go on Azure and deploy it um, on their platform. Click create. You put, this is the first, um, first page of the template. You put the, uh, an account name for the virtual machine, for the computing machine that is being provisioned to you. Um, you can use either a password or a SSH public key. Um, you create a resource group, which is in, in, in the region where you want it to be located, which is a Azure concept. And then you get to, to choose which new version. We have the latest 3.1 version, and soon we're going to uh, support 3.2. Um, we also have the latest 3.0 version there. Choose new for your password. Upload your SSL certificate to use in the browser, so you can connect to the browser. Um, and you choose number of instances. You say, I want AJ cluster of four, five, six instances. You choose the VM, the size of the machine that Azure will provision for you. And it just automatically happens. You know, they run the um, validation of the, of the template. Just click purchase. And my three instances, well, oh, these are network actually interfaces, wherever they are. The three instances in my case were provisioned. And when I go to the PIP, public IP, you can see the IP address that is provisioned. Once you have an IP address, you have your entry point in your cluster. Everything is done for you. So let's try. Right, so it's gonna do. So it's just an Azure Marketplace. I'm logged in. I'm gonna search for Neo4j. See what it says. Oh, there it is. Get it now. I agree to the terms of usage. Oh, 
All right. So this took me to the portal, the Azure portal. So this is the place where you, this is like, if you're used to AWS, this is a AWS console. If you're used to the Google Cloud platform, this is like a Google Cloud console. Um, so here I would have, if I'm using Azure more, I would have a bunch of other resources listed, wherever. And this is the beginning of the template. So it has some explanation and links, how to use Neo, and I would say create. Okay, so the admin account, I'm gonna put myself, I'm gonna say, Okay. <laughs> I'm struggling with this. All right, so I'm going to choose the version, say 3.1. So here, I'm gonna choose how big the machine I want. So for example, if my graph is, let's say, um, about the size of, let's say, two gigabytes, I would want to have enough heap cache and memory for the operating system, whatever. So let's say I would want to have a machine at least double that, so let's say four gigs. So let's see if I can find four gig machine, I would say select. Um, I would just take a standard subnet here. Public new ad IP address is just a public IP address. I say, okay. And that's it. This is literally the template that needs to be validated now. As you can see, it's really fast. Um, validate template. And I'm just gonna take evaluation license, um, or let's say I have a subscription with, with Neo4j already, uh, and I just wanna use Neo, and this is it. So now, we don't have time for me to wait um, for this to be de deployed, but this is, this is it. Thank you so much.